Listen, there is no words. I guarantee you, every single reviewer or person that reviews this movie will completely be shocked. And that includes me. Luigi Origin of Evil. Back in 2014, we had a horror movie called Luigi come out. Very cheap movie. Made a ton of money. And guess what? It sucked. Like, I mean, like, so I know a few of you are like and everything, but to me, Luigi felt so cliche and had a lot of jump scares and it had nothing. It felt nothing new. In my opinion, the first Luigi is a terrible movie and I don't want to watch it, like, ever. So, going into this movie, I was like, oh my god, I don't want to see it. And then, I watched it. And oh my gosh, Luigi Origin of Evil is a very good horror film, and I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm not lying, I'm not copying other reviewers, I swear to you, Luigi Origin of Evil is actually good. Like, good. Like, I mean, I enjoyed it. Basically, this movie is about this white, I mean, this girl and the mom and these two daughters who move into a new house, and their job is literally bring people into their houses and make them think they're talking to spirits or, like, something with ghosts, whatever, but it's really all fake. They're just trying to get money out of them. It's kind of a terrible thing, but either way, that's that. But the mom brings home on a Ouija board, and then the younger sister starts messing with it, and then she gets possessed, and crap starts going down. And what I think about this movie, holy crap, first off, the direction. I had to look up who directed this movie. It was actually the guy who did Hush, if you've seen that, it's on Netflix. It's actually really good. And then he directed Oculus, which is actually a very underrated movie. So I was like, wow, I didn't know he directed this. And I loved how he went old school. Like the old Universal logo is old. The whole movie has like simple, like simple little things you notice about how the screen kind of like looks old. It's like all flickering and you can see a little circle in the corner. like. It, this movie feels like it's the 1960s, and I love that. Just like The Conjuring 2, it grabbed the setting, and it, you felt like you were in the 60s, and it was great. The direction was really good. The guy who did Oculus, he's hit three movies now, like including this one. He's on a roll. Keep making them. He's a good director. I forget his name, but I need to start learning his name because he can make a good movie. The characters you care for, the mom you really care for, the oldest daughter is really good. She's actually the girl from the Oculus, and then the younger girl who gets who gets possessed. This is where the movie could go completely wrong. She knocks it out of the park. She is creepy. There's a scene where her eyes go white, and she's walking up the walls and on the stairs. Nightmares. I hate that crap. I hate, like, looking through my window and seeing, like, a white face, like, looking in and everything. That creeps. Oh, like, the grudge. Like, I can't handle that crap. Especially the ring. I can't handle that kind of crap. It freaks me off. Like, it just, ugh, I don't like it. So this movie, it did that. And if it does that, that means you did your job and you made me creeped out. And I, am, I don't want to walk in my house at night tonight. Like, at all. And I turn 17 tomorrow. By the way, my birthday's tomorrow. Now I'm terrified to go to sleep. Great. Either way, I thought the tension was really good. The characters were really good. The story is actually very interesting. And I just kind of believed, like, that it makes sense. Like, there are people who bring people in and they take home an Ouija board. It's not like a cliche, let's, hey, let's play an Ouija board. And the jump scares, there's not really that many. And it's very, very minimal. It's actually building up tension. And it's a very fast-paced movie for an hour and 39 minutes. My only issue is the CGI sucks. All the time you see, that every CGI scene you see in this movie is terrible. Like, I mean god-awful, like... Give me another $5 million budget. It was a $9 million budget. Give me like $15 million and make that CGI better. I think this movie might have been an A- minus kind of thing. But either way, I very much enjoyed this movie. And I would definitely watch it this Halloween if you're going to go see a horror film. It's this movie. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ouija Origin of Evil gets an A-. minus. It is actually a good movie with actual scares and tension and characters. I am shocked. Like, I left the theater like, 
But I, was, I literally doubted myself, like, there's no way, that that was not good, and I, I thought about it, I was like, it's good, and I can't lie to myself. Go see Luigi, Origin of Evil, it's a good, scary movie, and I very much enjoyed it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!